Throughout history, there have been many executions ordered of high-profile members of the army and the military. These are often conducted by a firing squad, as it was said to have been a noble execution. Soldiers were to be shot, and this was considered a valiant way for officers and high-ranking members of the armed forces to go. One of these men who would be executed was one of the original 18 marshals of the empire, created by Napoleon, Michel Ney. He was known as the bravest of the brave, and he would be executed for his crimes in Paris at the age of 46. But what did he do? Join us today as we look at the brutal execution of Michel Ney, and remember to support our channel. Please make sure to subscribe. Michel Ney was born in saint louis in the French province of Lorraine, close to the German border. His father was a master cooper and a veteran of the Seven Years' War. He grew up being able to speak fluent German and French, and he was a civil servant, but he was not suited to this life. Because of this, in 1787, he enlisted in the Colonel General Hussar Regiment, and entry to being an officer was restricted at the time to those with an element of nobility in their blood. But Ney continued to rise through the ranks as a non-commissioned officer. However, following the French Revolution, he served in what was known as the French Revolutionary Army. He saw action at the Battle of Valmy, and he was commissioned as an officer under the Republic. He fought at a number of other battles and was wounded, but in August 1796 he was promoted to the rank of Brigadier General. He commanded cavalry units on the German fronts, and during the Battle of New Eid, he led cavalry against Austrians, who were trying to take French cannons. These were beaten back, but Ney's cavalry was also counter-attacked, and he was thrown from his horse and was captured. But as he was a valuable French asset, they swapped him in a prisoner exchange for an Austrian general. Further promotions came, and he continued to prove he was a skilled cavalry commander. He was given his marshal's baton in May 1804, and became a marshal of the empire. He continued to command at various different battles under Napoleon, and he fought in many different skirmishes, where he proved himself as an adept military tactician. However, when Napoleon invaded Russia, he was given command of the 3rd Corps of the Grand Army in 1812. At Smolensk, he was wounded in the neck, but he did recover. But during the retreat of Moscow, he commanded the rear guard and was considered the last Frenchman on Russian soil. He had been cut off during the Battle of Krasnoy from the main army, and he then managed to escape using the heavy fog as a decoy across the Dnieper River. But his forces suffered heavy losses, and he became known by Napoleon as the bravest of the brave. He was wounded yet again, and he fought many battles and commanded many more units. At Fontainebleau, he became a spokesperson for the Marshal's Revolt that demanded Napoleon's abdication. Paris then fell when the Bourbons reclaimed the throne, and they who pressured Napoleon to accept the abdication and exile was promoted and was made a peer of France by the newly crowned king, Louis XVIII. But Napoleon would return to France, and Ney was determined to keep France at peace, and he demonstrated loyalty to the king. He organised a force to stop Napoleon's march to Paris, and he also promised to bring Napoleon back in an iron cage alive. Napoleon, however, learned of this plan, but he then joined Napoleon and defected, and he was made the commander of the left wing of the Army of the North. But then the forces were split to fight two battles, and Ney was criticised when he attacked the Duke of Wellington at Quatres Bras. At the Battle of Waterloo, Michel Ney commanded the left wing of the army. He ordered a mass cavalry charge against the Anglo-Allied lines, and his cavalry overran the enemy cannons. They found the infantry formed in cavalry-proof formation, and without this he failed to break the squares. Some claim that this inability to break up the enemy resulted in Napoleon's defeat. He also failed to spike the enemy cannons and rendered them unusable. The loss of such a large amount of cannons could have weakened the army, and caused the withdrawal of Napoleon's enemy from the battlefield. He was seen during the battle hitting his sword against the side of a cannon in frustration, and he had four horses killed underneath him. He led one of the last infantry charges and shouted to his men, Come and see how a Marshal of France meets his death. However, when Napoleon was defeated and exiled for a second time, in the summer of 1819, Michel Ney was arrested on the 3rd of August. He was court-martialed and was then tried for treason. His lawyer said that Ney was a Prussian and that he could not be tried for treason in a French court, as his hometown had been annexed by Prussia. But he interrupted his lawyer saying, I am French and I will remain French. 137 peers voted for the death penalty against Michel Ney, which was overwhelming considering 17 voted for deportation 
and five abstained. Only one vote was for an acquittal. He was condemned to die on the 6th of December 1819, and he was executed the following day. He was taken by guards in Paris near to the Luxembourg Gardens. Opposite him stood a firing squad, and he was approached by the leader of the executioners, who offered him a blindfold. He was allowed the right to also give the order to fire, as he was so senior in the military, meaning he could command the men when to shoot. Facing his executioners, he said, Soldiers, when I give you the command to fire, fire straight at my heart. Wait for the order. It will be my last to you. I protest against my condemnation. I have fought a hundred battles of France and not one against her. Soldiers, fire. With this, Michel Ney was instantly killed. His execution divided the French public, and he was considered by Napoleon as the bravest of the brave, but ultimately Michel Ney met a brutal end, facing the firing squad. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.